Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV here with a quick reaction, a quick chat after Louis van Gaal's press conference ahead of the Stoke game. Uh, not sure if you've seen the press conference or heard about it already, but Louis van Gaal walked out of the press conference. It was initially reported that he stormed out of the press conference, but having seen the footage, uh, he's very... Oh, I wouldn't say he stormed out. He obviously wasn't happy about being in that press conference, and he made that very, very clear. Now, I think the easiest way for us to talk about this press conference is for me to simply read the quotes that Van Howe um, said in the press conference and what he said before he walked out. Now, it is quite a lengthy quote. He said, Has anybody in this room not a feeling to apologise to me? That's what I am wondering. I think I was already sacked, I have read, or have been sacked, or that my colleague, Jose Mourinho, was here already. What do you think that happens with my wife or my kids, or with my grandchildren, or the fans of Man United, or my friends? <coughs> They have called me a lot of times, and also Arsene Wenger is saying something about that. Um, Arsene Wenger was talking about how Louis van Gaal should be more respected, and, does, and how Wenger didn't like what was happening in the media. Uh, carrying on the quote, Van Gaal said, Do you think I want to talk with the media now? I am here only because of the Premier League rules. I have to talk with you, but I can only see that when I talk to you, that you put it in your context. I have tried to lift the confidence of my players. I have done everything this week. I've held meetings, evaluation meetings with players, with members of staff. I've held a Christmas lunch. I gave a speech. I feel the warmth and support of everybody at Carrington, but I didn't feel that warmth in the media. I can imagine that you can write about that subject. We are not in a good position, but four weeks ago we were in first place, and in about four weeks we can again be in that position. You have to stick by the facts, and when I get calls from Ed Woodward, Sir Alex and David Gill, because you were creating something that is not good, that is not being the facts. And now I have to answer questions. I don't think I want to do it. I'm focused on Stoke City. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And also maybe a Happy New Year when I see you. Enjoy the wine and the mince pies. And that duplication of Merry Christmas is coming straight from Manchester Evening News. So apologies for that. But I suppose what do we make of all of that? That's, as, you, as I said, quite a lengthy quote. And... I think there's two ways you can look at this. It's either, on the on the one hand, you've got why is Van Gaal walking out of a press conference? Yes, the media are going to be saying X, Y and Z about you, Louis, but they're doing that about Mourinho, Klopp, Brendan Rodgers when he was there. Every single manager gets under the... really, really scrutinised when it comes to the Premier League, and that happens. You have to deal with that. It doesn't mean necessarily they have to walk out of press conferences. Um, and in in some ways, I feel that, that Van Hal used to really, really control press conferences. And I feel like he has lost that somewhat in the last few weeks. Yes, walking out of a press conference is the ultimate exertion of control. You're stopping it. But it, it just seems like the pressure is obviously mounting on Louis and he's not liking <coughs> how he's being represented in the press. Understandable in that respect. Um, and on the other hand, there's people going to say... Good on, you, good on you, Louis, for walking out. Stick to your guns. I mean, obviously, Fergie didn't speak to the BBC for years. <clears throat> and he stuck to his guns. Now, Louis van Gaal's doing pretty much the same thing there. For me, um, it doesn't look good for Louis right now. It didn't before the press conference, and it definitely doesn't now that he's walked out of this one. Um, I personally don't see how two wins against Stoke and Chelsea can turn everything around. It doesn't change what's happened in the last few months. And I feel like there's only one way out of this. Um, the fans have lost true belief in Louis and his process and his philosophy. And with that, the patience has left. Um, on top of that, we've got Mourinho's now available for a job. So that press speculation is starting. Um, I mean, Jorge Mendes, who is Mourinho's agent, has already been talking about that. He said, he said there's no offer from... Uh, Manchester United at the moment and no official talks but we'll see what happens behind the scenes but for me I can't see Van Gaal being in this job in the summer and I don't know how much longer he's going to last in the job as I said I think two wins in the next th four that was it four or five days doesn't change anything United is sitting in this position because of what's happened this season and two wins won't just brush over that I mean I want to know your opinion on this because it, it seems like the fan base is quite divided, uh, mainly on the what happened at the press conference um, and also on Louis van Gaal's future. 
It's the main topic of debate. It's what we're going to be concentrating and continue to look at. So please leave your comments below, um, get involved, and I suppose that's it for the press conference reaction. There's only one really thing, one thing to really talk about. I mean, Darmian may be back to play against Chelsea, but seeing as a press conference lasted less than five minutes, the main thing we can talk about is Louis van Gaal walking out. So let me know in the comments below what you, how you feel about that press conference. Do you think Louis was right to do it, or do you think that he should have stayed? Uh, get involved in the comments below. Like the video, always helps. Um, and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy. Can they rejuvenate these these players that we've got now? I think they need to kick up the backside. Really, they need to they need to prove themselves out on the pitch. There. If not, we've got players what can come in and replace them. Really, we've got youngsters what could probably do.